If you're trying to create documents and PDFs from SmartSuite, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you how to create documents from within SmartSuite using the document designer. And I'm also going to show you how to automate document creation using make.com and the Google Docs module. With SmartSuite, the document designer only allows you to create single page PDFs and documents. So if you need to create multiple pages, reports, or if your quotes, contracts, or something else is multiple pages, you will need to use another system like Google Docs. So if that's something that you're trying to accomplish, make sure you check this one out. Welcome to our channel. My name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business processes and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, please visit our website below to book a free console. I already have my smart suite solution set up. I will go through it quickly with you and then I will dive into the document designer and then the make.com scenario to automate the PDFs. I've got in my document solution, I have two tables. I have a quotes table and I have a quote items table. Quotes table, pretty simple. I've got the quote ID, then I have a create quote button. This is a, just a button field. This is going to be used for the make.com integration. Basically what it does is I've used a formula and this part, the concatenate is really all you need. The if statement, just basically it makes the button clickable. If there is a, or if there is not a link already associated, we'll show you what that means in a second here. Basically all we're doing is we're taking the webhook, we're adding a parameter with record or rec as the key, and then we're pending the record ID. So basically what we're doing when we click the button, we're calling the webhook, we're sending the record ID to make, and then the rest of the scenario and workflow will go through from there. So I'll show you what that looks like soon. I will carry on with the rest of the table for now. Quote docs link. This is simply going to be once we've created the quote within Google docs, we're just going to update this cell to have the a link directly here so that we click it and it takes us right to our Google doc that we've created. You can upload the PDF once it's been created here, and then we just have some common information. So we got customer name, email, customer address. We have the date range of the project. In this case, we have a project description, scope of work, and then we have the link to the quote items. And then this is just a formula field, which is just calling the record I, and we will use that within our make scenario as well. Quote items, very simple, similar. I've got the record ID being pulled in with the formula like this, the linked record field. So this is just linking back to the quote. I've got it grouped by that field. And then we've got the cost of each service and we have the service name or the item simple, but it allows us to dive into what we're trying to accomplish here and gives us the basics after this, essentially just adding additional fields and information, but the setup is going to be the same to get into the document designer. We will go to the quote level. I'll click this little arrow drop down. We'll go into the document designer and create a new document template. We can label this whatever we want. We'll just call it quote template. We can pass in any information that is relevant to the quote. So we could bring in the customer address. We can bring in the customer name We can usually format it here. So here's customer name address. We can bring in the date range of the project, and then we can bring in anything else that's relevant as well. So bring that in, format it however we want. So this would be all dynamic because each customer is going to be different from the next. But if you want to add things like your own information, that's going to be static text. So it's always going to be your business that the quote is coming from. We go up here to elements. There's different shapes that we can add and you can add your logo image and text as well. So you can bring in whatever your company name is and you can add that up at the top with your, your email address and your address and phone number and so on. And that's just for all of your static elements. This fields is going to bring in all the dynamic data 
and information related to that record. Most of that is pretty straightforward, but the thing I'm going to get into a little bit closer here is this link to quote items. This is the linked record field. So I'll select it to bring it in. And we have a few options here. We have a table mode, a list mode, and a single mode. In this case, what we're going to do is we want to bring in the table. We've got the item name already being brought in. And in this case, we're just going to bring in the cost as well. Your case, you might want to have some additional fields, but this is good enough for this tutorial. So we've got the item name and the cost that is displaying. And then you could use a roll up field or something like that to bring in the other values that are associated to it or giving the total value and bring that into the document as well. So that's just really high level on how to use the document designer. It's pretty simple to use once you get into it. You just select any of the fields from the left here and they will dynamically populate. And then for each record that you have, when you just click through it, it will display the information to that customer or to that quote. It will change dynamically for you. As mentioned, this is only good for single page PDFs. So if you have a lot of extra text that you want to add to your quote, this will probably not be the method for you because it will span across multiple pages. For example, let's say this is a template for our quote and it already, before we've added any of the cost information, already extends across two pages. So that would not work within the document designer. From here, we'll just save this. We can reuse that if needed. But now I'm going to dive into the Google Docs method using make.com as our integrator. I just showed you the document here. Essentially what we want to do, use this as our template. We want to copy this and fill the placeholders that we have in the double curly brackets or each of our quotes. We need a make scenario we'll go ahead and get it started. I've already got it built here and I'm just going to go into each module, give a brief explanation on, as to how it works and what is occurring. In this case, I've got my template set up. I've got my solution set up, both tables, and I've got line items that exist here. And then as I previously mentioned, I have my webhook button here. So the first module is a webhook. It's easy to set that up. You just add the module, connect or create the webhook, and then you'll get the address here. You can just copy that address to your clipboard go back into the smart suite solution, add your button, go down to the URL formula, edit formula, and then you will just paste that webhook here. Then at the end of the a URL text, you'll add a question mark, whatever you want your parameter to be, or the key value to be. In this case, I've just identified it as rec REC, and then we're making that equal to the record ID. So as I said, when that gets clicked, it's just going to pass the record ID of this record into make. And then what we're going to do is use this smart suite, make an API call. You'll authenticate and connect to your smart suite account. The URL, it starts with slash V1. So if you go into smart suite and click this solution API button, it will open up your API documentation, and then you can just easily click into the quote table, and then you can use all of the information that's relevant here. So in our case, what we want to do is we want to just retrieve a record. So when you click retrieve a record, it will scroll down and then it will have your URL on the right side here. So you'll just start at the slash and then V1 and then take the rest of it and copy and paste it into here. So it's V1 applications. This is your table ID and then it's slash records and then slash, and then you are adding in that REC value. That's going to be dynamic information that you're passing to it. This will already be set up for you. The content type and location JSON that'll be set and it should default to the get method. After that, that's all we need. When we run it, it will get the data based on 
record value. From here, we've got an iterator, which is going to iterate line items. And all we want to do is get the quote items a slug. What we're doing is getting this field here and we're passing all of those linked records into the iterator here. And then we will get the line items. You'll use the get a record module. You'll select your solution, your table. So in this case, it's going to be the quote items. We're going to search by field, which is record ID. And we created that already. That's this field here. And we're going to pass in the value of each record or each ID that's passed in here. So because there's eight records that are linked, so there's eight records here linked to that quote. It's going to find each of these record IDs. So essentially getting each record and the information associated. Then from there, we're going to use the text aggregator. So the source module is our iterator. We want to use a row separator of new row, and then you can label it however you want. So I'm just going to have text being item name and then a dollar symbol and the cost. So it's going to get the item name and the cost. And then once we run the scenario, it's going to paste it in here. And in this specific instance or example, there's going to be eight bullet points with each cost. This is where we link to that template I was just showing. You can authenticate your account by drop down, go to your folder and select the exact document ID. Once that happens, it's going to find all of the values and placeholders that you've created here. So anywhere there's a double curly bracket, it's going to pull in that placeholder. So you'll see here today, name, address, email, start and end. Those all exist within my template. I used a format date. So that's going to just format the now function, which is bringing in the current date and time. It's going to format it in the month, day and year form. So essentially I'm going to go through using that same API documentation. So you'll just go in and click fields and you'll be able to search each slug and you're going to pass in each one into the associated field here. And then the last spot. So the costs, which is right here, this is dynamic based on each of these records. Once we've formatted it in the way that we want it set up here, we're just going to pass the text from this module into the cost section. So everything else is coming from this get a record or get line item details. I've renamed it and pass it into each field type that pops up here with the exception of that cost. And then the last step, second last step is the update record. So I'm finding the solution, the table, I'm passing in that record ID that we have here. And I'm going to update this field with the link to that document that we create. We're getting that record. And then the last thing that we're doing, we're going to leave everything blank and we're just going to update that quote docs link with the web view link from the Google doc that gets created. And this is just a webhook response. So using the status 307 and we have to turn on show advanced settings, go to the key type in location. And then we're going to pass that web view link in here. So once the automation has completed, it will launch that page for us in a new tab. That's just a quick explanation of how this module or how the scenario is working and going through each module. So I'll just give it a test run here. I'll click run once I'll go into our solution and I will click create quote. You'll see a new tab is opening. So basically what's happening right now is that scenario is firing and then it has just launched right here. So it's passed in today's date, the name of the customer address, email, the date range of the project, project scope, which already existed. And then it passed in each option that we have from our quote item. Let's pass in the item name and appended it with the cost and went through each of those records. You can see that that's expanded through two different pages. In this case, it's much more useful than the document designer for those types of instances. The documents are pretty simple, but that gives you a couple of different options to be able to produce and create PDFs 
from your smart suite solution. And as you can see, it did also upload the URL here so that if I select this, it will open up that document. If there's any edits that need made, or if you just want to download it as a PDF and send it to your potential customer or your lead. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button so you get more tutorials in the future.